Hello, May. Hi. How are you? Very good. What is your first Eurovision memory? I was very young, very young, I think, uh, since I was three years old. Um, I was sitting with my family every year watching Eurovision, taping it on, on, on cassettes, on video cassettes, and watching it constantly again and again, and imagining I'm on a big stage and singing, <laughs> singing along, even though I didn't even know how to speak English when I was young. Um, I, I remember good things. I remember things that make me smile only. We still haven't seen a live performance of Same Heart. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> when? The, the fans are waiting. Um, very shortly. Very shortly. I know uh, there were a lot of rumors about, uh, about why I don't release a live show. There are good reasons. There, um, you have to have order in, in the working process. Um, and we do keep on the right order. And we'll do it and we'll do it uh, I can tell you for the first time, we're going to do it in a very creative way. Hmm. Well, we'll have to wait. Yeah. <laughs> How will your stage performance will look like? What will you wear? What are you preparing to do? Um, I'm not able to talk about my outfit yet because it's still in work in process and I love it. But it's going to be gorgeous. I love it. And uh, the performance will be uh, with two amazing female dancers. One of them is my best friend in the world and uh, she also um, did the choreography in the in the same heart video mm -hmm. and she's going to dance with me and another beautiful Amazon woman uh, which is very important for me because uh, since the beginning of, of my way in music um, there was something about female empowering that was very important for me it is something that burns in, in underneath my skin and uh, I will have to bring it to the Eurovision stage and I love it I love it well we meet you here in the Canary Theatre it's the biggest one of the biggest uh, theatres in Israel what are you doing here I'm doing a show a musical uh, musical theater uh, called the uh, Casablan which is a an Israeli classic we do a remake to an Israeli classic it's a big massive show we did 300 shows in one year and it's still running and I play a character called uh, Rosa which is a red-headed uh, super sexy bigger than life bar owner and um, that's what we do here every night <laughs> According to odds and polls by fans, you are the strongest uh, Israeli entrant since about 2010. And you, some place you high, some place you a bit lower, but still. I hear different things every day. Really? <laughs> I do. Yeah. And and I hear good things. Yeah. But I hear different things on on the polls. I hear uh, one day we're first, one day we're fifth, one day we're fifteen. But but it's a it's a good place to be in. Um, I've heard it changes all the time, so I'm trying not to not to be affected by it. But it does mean one thing that people give us love, and it's ridiculously amazing, amazing. Many people say that the Eurovision is full of political voting, and that countries without neighbors that will help in the voting will want to do good, like Israel. That's right. Many people say that. And what do you think <laughs> about it? I try not to think about it at all. I'll tell you what when you start thinking about the pools and about the politics and about what everyone else uh, have to say you lose a bit of focus 
I mean, that's, that's one thing I've learned when I became a mother. That listen to your own intuition, only your own intuition, and if you're going to be affected by what everyone has to say, you're going to lose it. And, you know, that's what happens usually. So I've decided from, from the beginning of the whole process, I've decided to stay focused and true to myself and do listen to all the people that are around me working with me on this process because everyone wants the best for us in the competition and I'm not thinking about what if and the politics and what if people sell votes or buy votes or if they like us or don't like us it's a music competition and I want to bring the best performance and the best music into this competition I don't think about anything else. Truth. Have you heard any of the other competing songs from other countries? I heard some. They're good. Who are your Who are your favorites? I don't want to say favorites. I never pick favorites because, uh, you know, you, you can you can totally lose yourself. And uh, I've I've heard uh, many actually today. Even today, I was driving. I had a long drive. And I just put it uh, to listen, and I've listened to I think 30 countries, and uh, I loved it. I loved it. I I don't care. I have a tough competition. I love good competitions, and they're so talented. I feel even more blessed to be a part of a hard and tough competition mm -hmm. because it means it means you're good if you're in a good company. That to be to sing in the second place, in the second yeah, song, in the second. kind of in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it, but uh, I guess I will be nervous before the show, so it's good because you're going to take all the nerves out very, very quickly and then sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> so, so I get the best of two worlds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, will you be aiming to international audience now? I don't have any plans in my head, you know, some people will sit and try to plan how to how to fight the war <laughs> how to plan the war now uh, I don't do that I have plenty of, of blessed work here in Israel and uh, I do have some jobs waiting for me after uh, Eurovision and um, you know I always say that um, if you want to tell God a joke tell him you have plans <laughs> <laughs> I'm open-minded to everything if something if some opportunity will open up I will definitely be there, but I don't aim to that because you'll get sick. <laughs> you can't aim everywhere. So um, at least I'm blessed. I'm not lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so good luck. Thank you. And we'll see That's you in, uh, in Copenhagen. <laughs>